What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing zombie venom. Let's get started by drawing the left side of the face. Starting with the eye, starting on the inside. I'm just gonna curve this up and then bend that out. And then go back to the inside. We're gonna curl the brow coming in and up. Let's tuck the eye in underneath the brow. On the left, we'll step in, draw a circle. Going all the way around towards the bottom of the eye. And then just pull that up on the inside. And I'm going to add a fold along the inside of the eye, coming down and out. Now we're going to move over and draw Venom's eye on the right side. Let's start by lining up the brow over on the right. Curve this down and out. Curve up and out. And then we'll just taper that back in towards the top of the eye. Let's work our way towards the outside. Start by going out. Bending that up, and we'll hook that up and in. Now we're going to go back to the inside, work our way down along the bottom of the eye, going out, hook that back in, and we'll go up and out towards the side, and we'll make our way up towards that tip, going up and bending that in. Now from here we're going to move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Let's start on the left side, curve the mouth going up and then down. And then we'll round up the side, going out and then bending that up. Now I'm going to go back to the left side and close off the side of the head going up towards the middle. Start by going out, rounding out the head and just pulling that in towards the center. Now from here we're going to separate the left side of the head. Starting from the top, curve around and out toward the left. Do another curve, coming around and then out. Let's add a point, going up. I'm just going to pull this across the brow towards the left side. Let's tear out the bottom edge, coming around and then up. Just going to work our way around the eye and then back up. Let's go to the left side of the eye, curve around the brow, and in, go out and up towards the side of the head. Let's add some more flesh along the top left, starting up here, curve in and then down, go up and down, and we'll work our way back out, going up and out. Let's add a point, coming in and then back out. I'm also going to add a fold underneath the eye, starting from the left, come down and in. Now I'm going to go back up to the top, step over toward the left, curve out and up, come down and across toward the top of the head on the right. Let's close off the right side of the head, starting up here, I'm just going to bend this around, go around the eye, and just pull that in on the cheek. Let's add some openings on the right side. Starting up here, curve down and in. Go back out. It's going to bend this in and down. Curve up and down. Go up and out towards the side. Now from here, let's move down and draw on the top row of teeth. Starting right in the middle, curve the tooth going out and down towards the left. Go back to the center, go out and down towards the right. Now I just want to bring the tooth going back out and up underneath the edge of the mouth. Now we're going to continue to add these teeth going out towards the side of the cheek. I'm going to start with that curve going out and then pull that back up. Let's add another set. And then we'll add one more. Going out and down and close off the outside. Now we're going to bring the tongue coming down underneath the head over towards the right. So start underneath the tooth, curve this down, just bend that up towards the right, round this out, pull that back in, and then we'll curl that back out. Now we're going to go over towards the right side, curve the top of the tongue going out and bending that in, and then we'll taper that down towards the point. 
Now we're going to see the bottom of the jaw over on the left side. We're going to start up here, goes down and in behind the tongue. Now from here we're going to draw on the side of the body. Let's start over on the left side, underneath the head, curve the body going out and then down towards the hip. Let's line up the bottom over on the right, curve this up and in underneath the tongue. From the hips, move to the center, step down and add a curve, going up and down. Leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve the leg going out and down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Now we're going to add some claws along the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left heel and go straight out and then bend that down. Go up and bend that in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Straight out, bending that down. Go up and in. Let's add two more claws on either side. From the tip, we'll step up out and down, pull this up and in, and then we'll do that one more time. Stepping up, go out and down, and we'll pull this up and then in and down across the top of the foot. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to close off the side of the leg. Let's start from the left hip. Start by curving out and then down towards the knee on both sides. And we'll curve the leg coming down and in on top of the feet. Now from here we're going to start adding some detail to the body. Let's start by tearing up the right side, starting underneath the tongue in the middle. Curve down and out. Come down and out with a short curve. And it's going to work our way out towards the hip. And around and up, and down and out. And then we'll expose the rib cage. Starting from the side of the body, come down and in, come down and up, and then layer another rib underneath. Starting right in the middle, come down and in, come down and then up. Let's add that venom symbol in the center. Starting right in the middle, start with a short line going across down the sides. Now from the bottom, curve out and up on the left. And then on the right, we're just going to tuck this up underneath that tear. Let's go back to the left side, curve this up and in towards the middle. Now we're going to add the legs over on the left side. Going out and then down. Step up and then draw that again. Let's add a couple more arms on the left side. Stepping up. Follow that same curve, go up, do that again. Let's do that one more time. Stepping up, come in, step up, draw that one more time. Now we're going to add some tears across the leg. Starting from the left hip, come in and then down, towards back out, come in and down. And we'll draw a couple curves, going out towards the side of the leg, going down, and then up. Now we're going to tear up the bottom of the leg. Starting from the knee, go up and down, a smaller curve. And it's going to work our way back out towards the outside of the leg. And then we'll tear up the right side. Coming in and down, going up. I'm just going to curve this down and in, in and down, and a couple more curves going out towards the side. Now you want to draw the arm stretched out towards the side. From the top of the body, let's step down, curve the arm going up, and then out towards the wrist. Now let's line up the wrist on the right side of the tongue, curve this in and down. And we'll continue that curve along the inside of the tongue, coming in towards the side of the body. Let's add in the thumbs. Starting from the wrist, come down and out. Pull that back in and up. Let's draw on the first finger. Starting from the top of the thumb, draw a straight angle line going up and out. 
anchor the finger point out and then down. Let's close off the top of the finger. Starting up here, curve up and in, come in and then down. Let's add a second finger. Starting up here, and go up and out. Just gonna curve this around and then down. And then we'll work our way around the outside. Going up and in. and down and in. Now you want to tuck the last finger in behind. From the knuckle, step down, curve in, and just pull that down towards the side of the head. And now we're going to add some tears across the arm. Start from the top, come down and in, and a small curve. And then we'll work our way back up towards the top of the arm. Do the same thing over on the right. Coming down and in. Now just pull that back in towards the side of the tongue. Let's add a tear underneath the left arm. Starting up here, come up and down. And another curve. And just pull that in towards the side of the body. Now we're going to add that liquid effect coming out from the hands and down towards the feet. Let's start from the bottom of the left thumb, curve in. And pull that all the way down, round at the bottom, and then go up. Let's come straight down and bend that out around the foot. Let's add a puddle across the left foot. Bend this around and in. Go out and then in underneath the foot. Let's go back up to the arm from the wrist. Draw a straight line coming down. Round this out, and just pull that up towards the side of the body. Now we're going to open up the bottom, starting from the ankle, curve out and up, and bend this back down toward the top of the leg. Let's do a similar thing over on the right side. We're going to start underneath the first finger, come straight down, around the thumb, and bend that up. Come down, round out the bottom, and then go up. Now from here, I'm just going to round out the top, come down in behind the tongue, come down towards the bottom, come down, and bend that out around the foot. Let's bring this back in behind the foot, rounding out the outside, and then coming in. Now, let's go over towards the left foot, underneath, curve around, and then out, add another curve, going around, and just pull that up underneath the right foot. Let's go to the heels, step up and draw a curve. Coming down and up. Now we want to close off the right side. Starting underneath the arm, curve out and pull that down on top of the leg. And then we'll go to the side of the tongue, curve this out and up towards the wrist. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of zombie venom. Now let's head back to the studio and I'll show you how to color this in. Let's start by using this medium green to film the inside of the head and the slime. Working our way around the eyes. And then that opening on the top right of the head. And filling these scars around the body and the legs. And then adding some green to that slime. Now we're going in with a darker shade of green to cast a shadow along the inside edge of the slime. Also adding some darkness around the eyes, and also under the feet. I'm going in with my black Sharpie, just filling the inside of the body, working our way around the ribs. I'm going in with the light gray to add a highlight across the top of the head and body. Now I'm going in with the dark gray to fill in the rest of the body, working our way around those highlights. Now I'm grabbing a bright red to fill in the tongue. Just working our way around the teeth and then filling in the rest. Now we're going in and adding a shadow to the teeth on the right side. Also casting a shadow across the top of the left eye, 
and then going in with a dark red to cast a shadow along the bottom of the tongue. And finally, if you have a white Posca pen handy, you can add a highlight to the top edge of the tongue. And there we have it. That's how we draw and color zombie venom. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe. And you can check out more of our videos up here or leave your request down in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.